Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie and welcome back to... Uh, I don't know, I wasn't really planning to do this, but um, I did a overview of my Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection. This is basically like the only movie I buy, almost. So I did an overview video quite a while back and someone mentioned to me that you should do an updated video. And I mean, I do a lot of individual reviews of new items, so for the most time I don't really do overview videos in that sense. And I also felt like, you know, well, that was so recent, why should I do an update? I haven't really gotten anything. And then I started looking at the dates and I realized that my overview video that I did of the TCM collection was actually one year old. It was actually filmed in March of 2015. Time goes by quite quickly when you're collecting TCM. So uh, I started going through the video and I realized that there's actually quite a few things that are new. So I figured that, I don't know, maybe we will do this like a annual kind of thing where I would just go through the collection and basically show you what's new. And if I show you something in duplicate that you've already seen, then you're paying way too much attention to detail. So anyway, uh, this is the entire collection. And uh, just like last time, apart from the row at the very bottom, all this is Toby Hooper's The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original film. And so for the top row here, there's nothing really new, but over here in my Australian section, I actually have some new stuff. I've sold a couple. You know, I really only need one copy of each release. I have things that look very similar here, but there's always like a little difference. Like these two might have the same uh, cover and the same design, but one is VHS and one is beta. I think I have all of the Australian releases uh, apart from... I don't have this with the Betamax copy, I only have this as a VHS. But anyway, here are some other... Australian versions which I didn't have before and it's kind of weird because this is an Australian retail release it's from the 90s it's a small clamshell and so by that standard you know it might not be a typical collectible but to me it was one of these releases I hadn't even seen it for sale I didn't know it existed then I also found this which was this was expensive and this was one I've only seen once before it's a double VHS release, also from Force Video, featuring the original film, as well as the Text Chainsaw Massacre family portrait feature-length documentary. As far as I know, the documentary has never been on VHS in Australia, apart from in this particular release. I'm sure it's been a part of the DVD releases, but on VHS, I think this is the only version. I'm pretty sure this is official as well. See, then we have, you know, Greek, Italian, showed you that stuff before. Here's all the Swedish releases, some Blu-rays. Here's a new one, Blu-ray release, which is quite recent from Germany, released like just this last year, and copy which I got as a reviewing copy from the good people over at uh, Turbine, so that's very nice of them. Here is also a new Japanese version from uh, this year, 2016, late 2015 maybe, 40th anniversary edition. I've also reviewed this separately, so you can check my other video. Video, can't say video today, video. Here's a older Japanese DVD box set been on my list for quite a while but it's only now that I found a decent price on it so glad to have that. Then you know nothing new there. Not a lot of new stuff here but I did pick up this which was actually one of the first things to arrive in my collection after I made the old video about a year ago. And this is a bootleg release of the TCM soundtrack by Dead Format Music and if you want to see more of this you can check a review video which I made just a couple of days ago actually. Then we have, uh, you know, all of my Super 8 VHS, etc. But nothing new here, so I'm just gonna skip that. Here is a new laser disc I picked up, and this is actually the second to last laser disc that I need. There's one more laser disc out there that I'm aware of, and that would be the um, Wizard Video version, which looks like this. This is the CED version, but I need this same cover on laser disc. This laser disc here is a Japanese one, and it's a little bit dirty, but it was overall pretty good condition and price was uh, really, really good, so really happy to finally own that. Here is uh, another Blu-ray box from Germany. You might remember that I had picked up this last time we, well, didn't speak, but last time you looked, so to speak. So this is also the German Blu-ray box from Turbine, came out 2015, and this came out just a little later. But 2015, 2016. From the same company, very similar in style and size, as you can see. It's just laser discs behind here and stuff, but pretty sure I've shown it. Is this one new? I don't know. But that is a Japanese multi-disc laser disc box, and I can't remember if I showed you that in the last video. And then I've tried... Uh, I've tried to go 
through all these rows and try to pull out the tapes that are new to sort of keep track of what I'm going to show or not. Here is the documentaries section where I usually have my documentaries lined up. And I know I showed you this before, which is the, the Shocking Truth documentary released in the UK on VHS. I picked up another one of these, or maybe it was sent to me, I can't remember. But the only reason I basically saved them was because I noticed that there's a sticker on these which sort of changes the spine number or spine reference. Here is a new one, and it's a very unusual version which I got from another collector. And I don't know much about this. It is the Family Portrait documentary, and it's, it's an American release on videotape from a company called Dornail Films. And it's a very anonymous cardboard sleeve. And this has actually been signed by Gunner Hans, and I didn't get this signed. It was signed when I received it. But I don't, I really don't know much about this release, so if people have more info, I wouldn't mind getting more info. And I don't think there's anything new in the documentaries there. A lot of this is old stuff. I remember that I did show you three versions of this, the this German version. Same as before, but main difference. In the old video I didn't have the Betamax copy. I had the Betamax sleeve, but it was via VHS inside. But this is something that has actually changed now, so now I actually have an actual Betamax copy of this film to go with my uh, Betamax sleeve, so that's really awesome. Oh, it's such a nice feeling when you sort of complete something that you've had, you know, been looking to fix uh, for so many years and I feel that, you know, getting that Betamax was one of those things. It's like, you know, I tend to forget that there is a Betamax in here. I keep thinking like, yeah, oh, I don't have that button. Like, yeah, I do and feel a little bit better or something. Here's a French tape, which I had before. You notice I have two of these. I wasn't planning to keep it, but then I looked at the tape label and realized that it was like a repress, which differed slightly in terms of the tape label. That's basically why I kept it, but it's still the same release. Then we have this, which is basically the wizard video version. And I saw a picture of this. I was buying it as part of the lot to get another tape, which I'm gonna get back to. So I figured, you know, this was a pretty pricey tape and I figured yeah okay so that's part of the lot I guess I can resell that because you know I already had this copy which is in good condition and then I saw this which was part of the auction that I was looking at and this is as you can tell this is a the same release but it's a carton cardboard case which has been cut to fit into this clamshell and as a collector you know that it's like you know you want to get the original cardboard case intact and Usually when they do this, it's like for rental purposes and it's not nearly worth as much money if they do. So I really wasn't, I was just thinking I'm gonna sell this. You know, I planned the price accordingly and was like, you know, I'm not gonna bid too much on this because there's there was only like one tape that I wanted. Why am I gonna keep this? And then I turned and looked at the spine. And this has a PAL sticker on it. And I had to research this because I was like, what the fuck? The wizard video version, that's an NTSC copy. So why is there a PAL sticker on this? And I still don't have the full story, but as far as I know, wizard video did produce a small number of PAL copies, which were sort of like a mail order offer, I think. It's very unusual. And even though it's cut, it's such an odd release. And by that standard, it's also actually extremely collectible in terms of pricing and whatnot. So yeah, I would definitely say I got a real bargain on this, getting it as part of the lot and really really have to have this not selling that for anything because it's so such a weird part of the TCM release history. Most of these I had before. This I had on Betamax before and it was like inside a VHS site sleeve. I actually picked this up on Betamax as well. So I have that coming in which is you know the same design but it's Betamax size. But I wanted to mention that because I actually also picked up a VHS tape only copy and replaced this. So this actually has VHS inside it now and I have a Betamax on its own. I just put it in a separate clamp here for storage. So yeah I basically have a tape only Betamax copy of this. In case somebody wants a tape only just Betamax tape no sleeve. Yeah nothing new there but this which, yeah, you can see how bootleggish this looks. And this is actually, as far as I know, it's official and it's a rental copy from da -da -da -da, Lebanon. And you might know that I used to have a, another Lebanese copy before. It's actually right up here, which also looks really bootleggish. It's basically a regular tape regular like, like you know you buy tape to record on and you have this harbor sleeve and then they glued on this cover but i love this and it's basically based on an old french canadian poster or something i don't know but i love this little spot at the top here forbidden cardiacs and pregnant women
Oh, that's awesome. Now we have this very very unusual Portuguese version which actually says director's cut but you know there's never been a director's cut of the movie and this is obviously no different to any other release but uh, really happy to finally get this because it's not a version you see every day. Moving down to the next row here, I'm gonna see what we have. This is the bootleg corner basically. <laughs> There's only so much new stuff. Here's a new bootleg release from Afraid of the Basement or AOTB from someone I found on Facebook who makes these and it's just a black and white cover but you know it does have some exclusive artwork here which I think is really cool so yeah happy to get this at a decent price. I do love my bootlegs as well. And then we have this and this was basically the only reason why I picked up that lot that I mentioned before because I spotted this and I'm just I'm looking at it and I can't make sense of the photo that he, that he sent me. Basically a bootleg carton. And I don't think I've ever seen a bootleg carton. And it's a bootleg which is based on the UK clamshell variation. This is a rarity on its own and fetches a pretty good price. But who the hell makes a bootleg carton? And you can tell that it's very homemade. You know it's got like the creases on the edges and whatnot. It's actually been like taped and laminated and stuff, so it's basically like, like a plastic cover feel. It looks terrible. Just looking at the print, you can tell that this was printed on like a really poor laser printer or something. I mean, you can't even make out the uh, spine number on this, which is... I don't know, it's such a stupid release, and I just wanted it because I do like my weird bootleg copies, and it doesn't even have a tape label on it, even I just found it so old that I, I really had to have it. There are the TCM porn that I have, just two copies, but I showed you those in the last video. This is the French-Canadian version from Astro Films. I had this before, but this has the American title on it. And then I recently picked up this, which is basically the same release, but it has the French title, Le Massacre à la Cia. I can't pronounce that. Both of these are actually Betamax copies. So I'm still looking for both of these on video. So if somebody has those and want to get rid of them, PM me or send me an email or whatever. Then we have the UK versions. I had two of those before. I had the Betamax and I had the VHS. So why did I get the third one? There they are, both of them, and you might be thinking like what's the actual difference between the two? Apart from the fact that this one is slightly faded from sun. Well, if you look closely, you'll notice that this one says uncensored, whereas this one says Certificate X. And these Certificate X copies are extremely uncommon in comparison to the uncensored one. Now, I think someone told me that the Certificate X version was basically, well at least maybe not Oh, hello. What are you doing here? This is our dog Steve, whom I love. But you are sort of in the... Yeah, you're sort of in the way now. I'm trying to make a very important video about my obsession with a very forgotten and a ridiculous film. Which most people don't buy. Because most people don't buy a single film. So many times. Yeah, no they don't. No they don't. Yeah, I love you too. Okay, so what I was saying... Um, about the... Come on. Come on, I'm trying to shoot a video. Yeah, I love you too. Yes, yes, you're... You're very ridiculous dogs, you know that. Yeah, go play. Okay. I can't remember. I think maybe this is cut. If anyone has Certificate X on Betamax or on Video 2000, I really want that. I always want Video 2000 because it's so rare. And ironically, that's actually the next thing we're going to talk about. Because I did actually pick up a new Video 2000 copy. Stumbled on it on eBay. But, I mean, this is rare. I had the VHS version of this. This is a Dutch release, which is really uncommon. Old uh, rental version. But yeah, I actually got the Video 2000 copy. And I had like a Video 2000 copy before, but now I have it for the Dutch version as well. And I mean, this is rare. It's a rare format. And not only that, this is probably the coolest part. I mean, Look at this entire sleeve. This is untrimmed. It's got all the paper there. It's got all the paper on the front. I mean, compared to my old one. Yeah, this is the full cover. But if you turn it over, almost every time the sleeve has been trimmed. They cut the T off. 
spliced it in half because normally as I mentioned in the old video I think this insert doesn't fit into the regular rental clamshell so if one of these clamps break while it's in circulation they'll have to put it into a new clamp and they probably don't have an original VML style clamp so then they have to cut it to fit it into the new clamp and then you end up with one of these which has the cut insert always trimmed always 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 then I found this mint well not mint but very close to mint condition still has the sticker on the spine and the sticker down there but I don't mind love it was expensive but yeah, I just had to have it next up we got a very unusual release from Poland which I've actually shown in detail in the uh, review on its own and we got two French tapes and I was sort of thinking like haven't I showed these but I realized that I haven't and first up we have the uh, French version from René Chateau the same company that released these two up here but this is an older version pretty uncommon this is from 1983 but this one it's actually even earlier this is from 1980s the first French rental VHS copy that was distributed been looking for this for a long time and this usually fetched this a uh, really really high price it's one of these titles which has really soared and gone off the scale might not be a title that you think is going to be so expensive but probably will and for this last row all the keep cases and all the dvds i've actually pulled out the stuff that i think is new now some of these you've seen the before because i've actually picked up some duplicates or they might look like duplicates but i'm gonna get into that first up a german two keep cases in a slip case then we have a new 40th anniversary release from Taiwan. Pretty sure this was Taiwanese. So yeah, I actually got this on eBay. Not sure if it's still around, but I'm really happy to score that because a lot of these 40th anniversary releases for like, you know, the countries that don't really have a big English friendly website, it can be really hard to spot when they put out new stuff. It's like, I don't know, 20, 30 bucks, I don't even remember. It's a keep case and a slip case, but it has the same design underneath. Then we got a older Norwegian uh, DVD release. Another Norwegian DVD release, also not nothing new, but it's an old, old version. Older German version, really weird cover, because if you look closely, I think that the leather face on the cover here is actually a photograph of a action figure. That saw is definitely not the saw seen in the film, and he does look a little stiff. Another German version, and a lot of these are duplicates in terms that, you know, they are very similar, and the only real difference might be that they have, like, you know, at the top here it says Neue Fassung, like new cut, new version. And apart from that, the entire cover is like the same, so a lot of the times for these I've seen for German releases, it's hard to keep track of what you have and not. And same goes for this German one, which I know also exists like this, but it also, like, sits with the same cover and has, like, some very, very fine print added on the bottom of the cover. I never actually spotted this but it's actually a really weird cover if you look at it. Put in the hand from like the corpse in the beginning so it basically looks like it's Leatherface's hand over the group of teenagers. A very symbolic and weird cover. I never even thought of the fact that this. Here's another Spanish version. Probably shown a similar version. I think you have this behind here. Basically the same but or you know you have the black edges around it. So I had this before. I was really certain that I had this. There are so many of them and they look very similar a lot of the time but I really want to get everything. And this is the same for some of these other. Pretty sure I showed you this last time and this is an Australian DVD version. Nothing rare about it. And then someone sent me a link to another DVD and was like do you have this? And I'm like yeah I have that. That's the Australian one. And then I'm like no that's not the Australian one. And they're looking at this one and telling me this is the Danish one and it's a lot rarer I'm like what the fuck are you talking about but yeah if you look closely very similar covers but not 100% identical. So this is actually the Danish version released by Vipco. It was apparently the first Danish release to be released uncut. And also the first one to be released with uh, Danish or like the whole Scandinavian subtitle thing. Don't think they had done that in Denmark before. So yeah, this is actually like extremely expensive. If you see this variation on eBay, I would pick it up as a collector. Because it's very very rare and so easily to be mistaken with this one. If you want to spot the difference easy you're just gonna look for this rating level the R which is the Australian one so if it has an R on it you don't want it because it's not particularly collectible but if, the, if it doesn't have an R yeah you will want to pick that up if it's cheap another version which is really unusual here in Sweden or around the world I guess apart from the country where it actually comes from this is the 
Israeli DVD which I hadn't seen ever and I think it's sort of like a bootish release because the disc looks like sort of like a homemade Blu-ray but at the same time I love bootlegs and I love this glad to have it and we got two Japanese ones which look really similar if you look closely there is actually a added little Japanese Thing there next to the red which doesn't appear there and I think this is the special edition which has which I didn't have before which has like the two discs instead of just one disc so very similar versions you can also tell that these spines are slightly different but it's very easy to confuse the two you're back here again are you bored yeah 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 I love you yeah I know yeah we'll do something fun later on but I'm trying to film now okay I just have one left. Wanna help me show it? Okay. So this is the last one I got here and these are basically the same. I picked it up big because I bought it on eBay and it basically had a different cover art which uh, differed slightly. I think it was missing some of the writing on there. But then when I got it, it turned out that it, was, it wasn't it was as pictured. So I think I got all my money back. It was cheap, like 10 bucks, but I still ended getting it for free. And looking at them, there are still, it's weird because you have so many pressings of these. You look here, it's the same, but it's not the same print. It's the same rating but they're slightly different and this is from Hong Kong or China or something. Oh god, probably showed you enough already. Oh my foot is fucking asleep. Oh. oh yeah, this is new. Forgot this. Look, my friend gave this to me. Uh, Mystifo, the magician. It's a homemade display of the, the porch and it's obviously not 100% identical. Everything sort of scaled down and the little thing there is much shorter but yeah. He's into Legos now. Uh, apparently he's still into movies but very focused on Legos apart from that so fun birthday gift. But that's it. I want to thank you very much for watching and as usual hope to see you all next time.